Hello everyone and welcome back to the second episode of the Terraria modded playthrough. I hope you're ready for this episode because we're going to explore the uh, obsidian biome which we found in the last video but um, we died before we were really able to enter so I hope that this time we are able to uh, yeah, make some progress exploring that. We move back to the biome and uh, we also got this new weapon from the Thoria mod in the last video so um, hopefully that makes us a little bit stronger. We don't really have any mana though, maybe we can create another mana star, there we go. So we at least have some more mana, but first, before we go and go to the biome, let's quickly check out the, uh, the abandoned ship or the stranded ship biome from uh, the split mod, see if we can find some more items there. Alright, so I made it back. Um, let's see, so I hope I'm able to make the audio just a little bit better, oh what's that? I hope I'm able to make the auto just a little bit better because I got some advice from some other YouTubers like Wasabi, what I should do with OBS to make it sound much more crispy. So, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe buying a new keyboard. So, um, we, I at least have that. Oh god, I'm really bad at talking and showing good gameplay at the same time. But, um, what's, what's that? Atlas Pirate. I see. Who hasn't used a boomerang for that? But um, yeah, I want maybe want to buy a new keyboard that makes a lot less sound. So hopefully that makes it. Oh god, that explodes! Oh no. Hopefully that makes it much easier to watch these videos, and maybe that will make the sound a bit less annoying. But I'm not sure if, if it's really worth it to do that. So I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's definitely something that I'm looking into. Maybe doing. Let's quickly go ahead and build some more platforms and let's keep on moving because last time this guy shot some things at us. They don't really want to die because of that, so um... Oh, we made it. There we go. I can't open the chest. Is it bugged? I cannot open this chest. Is that a glitch? Oh! Oh, there was just nothing in it. <laughs> we That must have been a bug. We went all the way over here for nothing. So, um, that's quite a shame. And yeah, let's quickly grab all this gold, look at that. It's quite a nice amount of gold, especially this early in the game. So, like I said last episode, um, I really, really like the music from the Enigma mod. I think it's quite nice, it really has, all the songs have the same vibe and it really makes me like jam to them. I'm, sometimes when I'm editing videos I'm listening to like uh, Hypothemia for example or however that's called and I just, um, because like when editing I need to pause and, and, and continue the video continuously so you can't really listen to the song, I sometimes just put on the song while editing because it's such a, such a good song. Oh no, don't die to a slime, that would be really really bad, let's go. Oh, would you look at that! So before moving over to the um, to the obsidian biome, let's quickly loot this chest. Run, 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 run. There we go. And oh no! Oh no! That is really, really bad. I hope. Oh no! Please tell me I still have this when I respawn. I do. Okay. So at least we have that. So yeah, we did lose quite a lot of um, quite a lot of money because of that. But it's okay. It's okay. All right. Hello, guys. Welcome back. I made it to the biome. I don't know what we can do with lava gems. I kind of forgot, but we we're probably able to craft something with those. So let's uh, make sure to have those with me, and let's just try to mine straight down and hope that we don't die <laughs> let's see we can that in here some candy cane blocks that's not that good oh no oh no 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 not one of those skulls let's see how strong these enchanted knives are oh wow they're really strong wow look at that actually let's just use some bombs to get down here Might be the fastest way. And there we go. Oh god, I think there's so much damage when it touches you. There we go. Oh, 
probably that right here. Ouch, yeah. It's gonna be pretty hard to dodge this thing. Oh, we survived. Nice. Let's just quickly throw down lots of bombs. There we go. One, two, three, four. And oh, what killed me? Ah, oh, I wasn't looking at my character, I was looking at the where the bombs were going. Well, while I was trying to get back to the um, biome, the arms dealer spawned, and I assume he spawned, yeah, right over there. So let's, oh, we don't have any money with us. <laughs> Let's quickly go back. Alright, so we can finally buy some ammo and hopefully this clobe, or clobber, however you pronounce it, will be um, a pretty decent weapon. So yeah, actually let's spend all of our money buying 999 bullets since... Oh yeah, that's great. This is fantastic. Only shame it is it uses a shit ton of bullets. But I guess we can we can live with that. So let's quickly move back and let's see this weapon in action. Actually, while we're here, let's explore the desert. We might be able to find a desert temple. That would be really, really good. But I, I don't know I doubt we're able to find it. But you never know. Usually, I'm pretty lucky with it though. So who knows? Maybe I am able to find one. There we go. Because if we can get the flying carpet, oh the briar, oh the briar. I forgot how hard that biome is. Um, I'm really not sure. Let's just be safe and move back. Oh, what's that? Oh, this weapon is insane. Look at this. It's like a mini shark. The only downside is that it causes a whole lot of ammo. We don't really need any other weapons if we're using this one. We can just move down like this. I think we might be able to, to quickly run in the desert and see what we can find. There's actually a desert chest over here. Oh no! What is that? Yeah, that's pretty useless, but we did get some more money. Um, I think we should maybe try to get back to the arms dealer this way. And we can buy some more ammo. But yeah, let's go ahead and waste all of our money on ammo. I think we're gonna use this gun for quite a while, and yeah, we're probably gonna die in the desert anyway, and we're gonna lose like almost all of this money. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we have quite a lot of bullets. Let's buy like 100 more, so we're able to nicely get all of our ammo slots filled. And um, why are these so fast? Look at that. Is that normal? Anyway, yeah, let's use this time that we have to maybe explore a little bit more of the desert. This gun is pretty strong, so if we just don't get hit by any enemies, we might be able to explore some more. I hope that there's some good loot in there. What's that? Oh, that's from the split mod, I believe. Oh, that's pretty fun. You have to time the weapon. Um... I don't know exactly how strong that is, but we can give it a shot against these enemies now. Oh wow, that's really strong. Is it stronger than this gun though? It might actually be stronger, yeah. It's probably stronger. Um, Alright, so now that we've explored the desert, I see it's nighttime once again, so let's try to look for some more fallen stars. Alright, so guys, I found a few things. One of which is this NPC down here, and if I'm correct, this one is from the split mod, so I don't know what it sells or what it does, but let's quickly 
take a look at it. So you are a new arrival, must be very unpleasant to see you your new world in such a state. Don't worry, your predecessor left some means of communication. Just in case, so if you need some help or just get bored, feel free to use it. Come on, like you've never taken a suspicious devices from mysterious strangers before. Let's see what he sells. Sends a signal into the unknown, can only be used at night. That sounds interesting. Doubles the spawn rate and maximum amount of both enemies and critters. That's great. Whoa, that was cool. Um, and garlic. Yeah, let's not buy anything right now, but that's pretty cool. I wonder what that does, but we don't have one gold yet, so we can't really buy it. But I also found this thing over here. Oh, this gun is so great. It's really a relief. So, let's... Oh, I couldn't jump. Oh, that was lucky. Let's see what this is. There's a chest that I cannot open as well. It's also empty. And that's such a shame. Maybe this world is bugged and all of the chests with loot are, are gone. Wait, 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 I remember this. Doesn't this do something? Like... Yep, 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 it does. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Quest item. Well, let's just keep that for now. Well, I couldn't really find any more um, uh, Fallen Stars. I found one more and some more in a place inside a chest. But yeah, let's just continue on mining now. And uh, because I really want to make like a, a way straight to the Obsidian Biomes. Because we're probably going to die a lot exploring that. And I think in the long run it's going to save us some time if we just have a fast way of going there. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. Looks like I finally managed to make it. Oh, I hope this drop won't kill me. There we go. Oh, there's actually a nice pool of water here, so if we jump down, we're able to survive. That's great. So yeah, let's see how strong this weapon is against like those flying skull thingies in this biome, because they are very annoying. They're probably what kills me the most in this biome. Or maybe the halbats. Yeah, halbats are pretty strong. This early in the game. Let's see how well my gun does against them. Not very good. Well, I guess it's fine. Um, let's quickly go down. Take care of that. Oh my god, 62 damage with one attack. That's crazy. Oh, and already some enemies spawned, but we should easily be able to take care of those. Let's go. This rapid fire machine gun. <laughs> I hope that these chests are not glitched as well. That would. Oh my god, they are as well. It looks like every modded chest in my world doesn't have any items in it. Oh no. So we might have to go ahead and, like, create a new world. I don't know what happened, how this even happened, but yeah, I don't think does, it's a lot of fun exploring when there's nothing really to collect. Mm, that's that's quite a shame. Ah, okay. Well, maybe I just have to create a new world in the next episode. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to make a new world, sadly, but um, we can still use this world to get to some NPCs if we need them. So yeah, that's quite a shame, but hey, at least we managed to make some progress. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I can see you in the next part. See ya!